Hello. I see here. Everhood, an ineffable tale of the inexpressible divine moments of truth. Uh, last time we escaped the lab and got a door piece, and we're looking for door pieces in the cursed castle. We were certified for very long boards. We got a key, and that's where we are now. Right, just the crystal key broke. Hey, be careful with that stuff. But the door is unlocked. All right. It's not any sort of secret passage to the right. All right, up. Oh no! <laughs> uh-huh, up. Avoid the trap door. Uh, the up door is the one I just came from. They both say down. So of course you go in the middle. Um, it's gonna go that way. We appear to be somewhere with a door piece. The handle piece of a door. What do you have to say? I'm Royal Guard of Castle. I guard important. Very important. All right, well. You still have the biggest challenge ahead of you. Visit the Mirror of Truth and I will allow you to leave my castle. Okay. Enter alone only. What? Why? Rules are ru rules. But I don't have any legs and this guy is mute. Would you really deny us entrance? Uh, okay. For you two only. <laughs> hey, that's the tones that play when you start up the game. Uh... Well, nothing happened. I think you should keep trying to look at the mirror. Maybe try to examine it from other sides? Sure. Uh, okay. Well, the right side's not it. Left side also not it. Um, I'm holding diagonally down and left to see if I can find any secret passages to the left. Because I'm trying to get behind the mirror now. Um, can't actually walk up there. I'm unsure what the trick is. It's not simply running into the mirror. And there could be one of those speed bump things that's just invisible, I guess. Or maybe, like, you can exit. Okay. No secret passages on the side of the stairs. Examine it from other sides. 28 souls are left, by the way. I definitely don't remember what to do here. Um, you okay? Somehow became even more quiet than usual. Not so. Oh. Uh. Look at you. What gives you the right to come here and control me? I wish you would just leave. You disgust me. This wooden cage. I have not always been like this. I divided myself into pieces to protect everyone. Once you leave, I have to deal with everything. I hate you for it. I wish you would just stop. I want you to leave. I don't want to talk to you again. Alright, well... I mean, I'm gonna keep playing the video game, actually. Okay, you guard important. Well done, little puppet. You are one step closer to helping us all. In another time, you will come back. Then you will slay the beast within and a passage will open. The end is nearing us. You are now free to leave. And yeah, the door downward had vanished, it looked like. At least I saw it reappear when we... 
finished talking with the door, and another door has been added to the top left. This one's still locked. I think that was through green door just now. Oh! That was a ton of tally marks. Oh, which... Where haven't we been? <laughs> Hi, fancy seeing you here. Nice. How about... This door seems broken. Oh, it's where we put the blue door pieces. There are pieces missing. Hey, you fine piece of craftsmanship. Want to swing by Midnight Town? The nicest place around? Sure. Oh, it's this place. Time is only temporary. certainly is out of my comfort zone, but I don't have anything else to do. Sorry about that, but I do like your company. Can't wait to get started! Hi there, Red. We can finally start the game. Let's go! Looking forward to playing. It's fun pretending to be someone else. What are you standing over here for? Are we gonna play or not? Hello! Escapism is what I really adore. Spending time with good friends is what makes it worth so much more. I'm gonna actually leave for a bit and explore the rest of the town. Blub blub. Hi there. I feel that I am destined to do great things in my lifetime. Uh, <laughs> you are a goldfish, actually. Who is out there? If anyone is out there, it's kind of an emergency. Could you get some toilet paper? I'll reward you with a lava lamp for your troubles. Okay. See, what is our current trade item? I think it's the cake? Maybe it's the ruby. There's a shop here. Shopkeeper, wow! What is that clay pot you have? It would fit perfectly for something I had in mind. I'll give you something valuable in return. Could I have the clay pot? Sure. This feels great. You can take my old hat. You picked up a frisbee looking hat. A rigidly locked chest. These flowers smell like childhood. These flowers smell like barbecue. These flowers smell like paper. These strange flowers smell like dirt. These flowers smell like an old person's breath. These flowers smell like something beautiful. Like flowers? <laughs> These flowers smell skunky sweet. Oh. Achievement locked. Taking it slow, smell the flowers. I apparently never in investigated them all in my first playthrough. You seem interested in that chest. For you only, I'll tell. Only the brown mage can unlock the golden locks, or so I've heard. Good to know. I really need a roof for my home. Maybe I can give you some trash if you find me a roof? I do have some half-used toilet paper if that would be useful. Hey, that circular frisbee looking thing would be perfect as a roof for my house. What would you say if we traded my toilet paper for your hat? Sure. All right. Finally, a roof over my head. But you won't be getting my toilet paper. You see, I need it too. Ha <laughs> ha. And we're starting a battle. You're looking rather 3D there. Oh. <laughs> Got a little surprised when the game like dropped a few frames. But, but we're jamming. Ow. 
I just needed to repeatedly make the same motions, and I still messed it up at the end. good oh you're not done uh what a bother fine take the toilet paper but i'm keeping the roof picked up toilet paper hi small figure i am stone guardian i really like eat but i know move oh you have food can i has cake sure Yum, 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 and more. Burp, this was bad cake. Thanks for nothing. I mean, it was made of plastic. But can stones eat plastic? Anyway, we picked up a hook. If I go down and I just loop around or something. Wait, what's this? The door is locked. Okay. Sure, nothing interesting is in there. And yeah, you loop around. Fountain is uninspectable, or whatever the middle feature is called. Is it out there? Yeah. Just attach it to the hook and I will hoist it up. Sure. So we didn't need the hook to help them. Ah. Okay, finally. I can wipe my table clean. Oh, right. I promised you something. A lava lamp, right? Oh no, I've got bad news. I seem to have lost it. But if you bring me batteries, I promise to make something really, really unique and special. That's a super promise. Oh, I didn't inspect the toilet paper while we had it, but this is an abnormally large fishing hook that is very sharp. All right, let's uh, check out the tabletop game. Welcome, Red. There's still room for one more player if you want to join. I promise you it is going to be a blast. Seems we're all finally here. Now, are you ready? Ready for an epic adventure? Yes. Any laughs? Good. Let me just... Set the mood. So I didn't talk to Green Mage the previous visit, because I thought talking to Green Mage triggered this. And then I tried to walk directly into the chair, and you, uh, you inspect the chair. Anyway, uh, let the adventure begin, says Game Master Green. Once upon a time in the land of Medallion, there was a village whose name had been forgotten. The little town was settled with happy, hard-working villagers, but beyond the lake... Deep in the darkness stood a tower so tall that it reached the clouds. The villagers could see mysterious lights and shadows moving at the top of the tower. Fearing that an evil wizard had taken hold of the tower, the townspeople hoped for a hero to save them from their presumably ill fate. Within the village was a temple that protected an ancient relic capable of withstanding evil. The sword that deflects red attacks. Really? That's a really dumb name. I find it quite descriptive. Guys, please don't interrupt. During a dark, rainy night, a warrior entered the temple. O oh, great warrior, says Teal Priest Mushroom, take the sword, our most valuable relic, vanquish all the evil, and save our small village. Receive the sword and gain its powers of deflecting red attacks. 
Imagine if the sword that deflects red attacks actually deflected green attacks. Uh, with this power, you might be able to face the evil wizard. Now, before you leave, we have to... And the goblin goes, Grar! Give me all your treasures. Or pay with your lives. Oh, great warrior, we are helpless. Save us from this foul bandit. And I deflect just like I swing a ten tennis racket. Ow. Yeah, I think it's cool that tennis is kind of training for this. You have bested me. Oof. You you saved us, so great warrior. Hooray! And more of that. Now make haste to the tower and defeat the evil wizard. What a fight! I was afraid the goblin was going to rob us blind. Glad you were here. I don't think I would have stood a chance against it. Says the only other guy in the room with a sword? Or that might be a knife. Good fortune to thee in thy quest, O great warrior. What a cool way of fighting! You just want zap 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 on that goblin. Wish I had arms so I could wield a sword. That was some battle. I hope you can defeat the evil wizard. I heard that the evil wizard has the power to change time. Which is supposed to be a concept between the past, the present, and the future. This game is so fun! Our warrior had a quest. Little did the warrior know what terrible challenges were ahead. It seems like such a waste of time. You could be doing something more important, Red. Why should Red listen to someone called Thief? What? I have no idea what you're talking about, says Blue. Glad you're the warrior, Red. And there are even save lamps here. Oh no, it's a save cow. That makes sense. It's got four legs and a tail. Nothing lamp-like about it. M Moo? Okay. Alright. We've saved at the save cow. Hey there, Red. Are you on your quest to slay the evil wizard? You see, that is also my quest. That guy has terrorized these villagers too long. I see you've got the sword that deflects red attacks. I'm not relying on any steel. My weapons are my fists. Just out of curiosity, would you like to engage in some friendly sparring to see which of us is the strongest? Your sword versus my fists? You want a sparring battle? Of course I do. All right, let us see who's truly the strongest. Boom. Deflecting a whole stack of them actually did like 30 damage. I'm pretty sure the first one deflects and it erases the other projectiles though. Ah, I got hit. Oh, we fight well. And then I mess up. Got him. Wow, you've got some impressive moves. 
I have to practice harder if I'm to beat the evil wizard before you. You want to battle again? I think I've had enough. Help me, Red. This game is too hard. I got attacked by squirrels. Would you help me up? Sure. Thanks a bunch. This time I will not fail. Thanks for helping me, Red. Wow, those squirrels don't give up. Would you mind helping me again? Sure. Thanks a bunch. This time I will not fail. Wow, those squirrels don't give up. No. I understand now. This is dog eat dog world. <laughs> I don't think there's any difference that will happen if I keep doing it, but maybe there is. You dare enter my domain? I've been commanded to not let a soul pass this bridge. You are to cross? Prepare to pay with your life. Hey, I can deflect lives. They're red. Uh, I mean, what? <laughs> more obvious it is in this battle that deflecting a red also removes everything behind it because they had a bunch of notes that were like a red with five blues behind it like that yeah got some dank moves. With such great powers, I sure hope you're a good aligned character. I mean, we probably are, right? The warrior had proven their skills twice. Uh, three times, kind of, right? Anyway, their confidence was high, which would be needed. The Swamp of Chaos would challenge the warrior to their very core. The Swamp of Chaos? Isn't a swamp level a bit cliche? What's next? The sewer level before the tower? No. It's actually... The Badlands of Chaos. We don't have to change the entire level because Zig... No, it's fine. I was obviously kidding that there was a swamp level. This is better. There's nothing interesting about the green rocks. Honestly, the graphics in this level are very ugly. It really looks unfinished. Well, that's what you get. Just saying, so you can make it better. Hello, fellow adventurer. I had gathered equipment specifically for the swamp. Antidote potions, camouflaged armor, a sword to cut nasty vegetation terrain. But due to the recent update of this level, I had to throw it all away. It was getting too warm in these scorching badlands. Oh well. At least I found a use for this nice hat. Sorry for rambling. Anyway. You wanna save? Yeah. All the best luck to you. And I think we'll pick it up here next time, because I don't know how long until the next save point. But uh, see ya.